Hey guys, Dr. Matt here. So one of the most common questions we get, both preoperatively as well as postoperatively, is how to deal with constipation. So the key here is this, guys. On the pre-op diet, when you're on nothing but two shakes a day and a small protein-based meal, that tends to alter one's GI function to the point where it's giving you a tendency towards constipation. So there's kind of two parts to this. There's preparing for the hit of surgery and the general anesthesia and the narcotics and the post-op two-week liquid diet. And then there's also mitigating constipation during the preoperative diet. So for me, the key here is psyllium husk. I want everyone on the pre-op diet to incorporate at least one scoop of psyllium husk in their protein shakes per day. Now, if that's not enough to keep you somewhat regular, then a scoop in each shake for the full two weeks. Okay, now my personal opinion here is I would rather have some looser stools than be terribly constipated. It's much more uncomfortable to be terribly constipated, straining to have a bowel movement, giving yourself fissures and hemorrhoids and so forth, than it is to have the occasional loose stool. So if I'm setting you up for some looser stools preoperatively, it's intentional. And it's also intentional such that you're starting off at a greater advantage when it comes to the constipating effects of the anesthesia and the narcotic pain meds and the pure liquid diet you're gonna be on for two weeks postoperatively. So again, the key here is set yourself, set yourself up for softer, more regular bowel movements preoperatively with the use of psyllium husk and continue the psyllium husk postoperatively once a day indefinitely. I use psyllium husk in a protein shake every single day. Okay, so obviously when you're on the two week liquid phase, you can do one scoop of psyllium husk once a day, you can do a scoop of psyllium husk twice a day. When you're on the soft food phase, I would still have a shake with some psyllium husk in it. And when you're in the solid food phase, I would still have a scoop of psyllium husk within at least one shake, even when you're on regular food, okay? That's gonna help keep things more regular when you're eating less, when you're getting less fiber in the diet, and when you're struggling to stay as hydrated as you're used to. So the baseline here is psyllium husk to keep things a little bit more bulked and regular. Second step is, ample hydration both preoperatively and postoperatively. Third step is once you get the surgery, we give you a stool softener, start using that. Fourth step is if the psyllium husk and the stool softener and the ample hydration still aren't cutting it, that's when we start adding two things. Number one, milk of magnesia. I would use 30 milliliters once and then again six hours later another 30 milliliters. If that doesn't work to get things going within 24 hours, then we pull out the big guns, guys. And the big guns here is magnesium citrate. You'd get one bottle of magnesium citrate, you'd take half of it and give it about six to 12 hours. And if still things haven't opened up, take the other half. By then, you better know where the bathroom is and you better make plans to be around the bathroom because you're gonna expect fireworks. So trust me, guys, here, it's all about preparing the bowel and treating things postoperatively as well. Both your colon and your butthole will thank me if you listen to these recommendations. Any other questions, guys, feel free to reach out to us.